That's not a fire hazard. No, this is a fire hazard. That, that... Actually, this is really bad too. It's a solid six yeah, out of yeah, 10 yeah. fire hazard. <laughs> In this box is a power supply that can supposedly provide 3,450 watts of power. How did they do that, you ask? Evidently, by bolting two power supplies together. How on earth are we gonna test a 3,450 watt power supply? Oh, don't worry, we've got some ideas. And it involves putting not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six RTX 3080s on the line. So I really, really hope this thing doesn't blow up. Like this segue to our sponsor, KiwiCo. KiwiCo sends out crates that contain hands-on projects for kids and teens to help develop creative confidence and problem-solving skills. There's something for all ages and all interests, so learn more at the end of this video or at the link down below. First of all, strictly speaking, this is not two power supplies bolted together because it only has one input, which is actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> There's a lot terrifying about this. How could you possibly expect to get 3450 watts out of one C13 power connector? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. How much did I pay for this thing? $300 Canadian. Do you want to know something that's kind of fun? I mean, other than the like sort of Bitcoin logo ripoff. Yeah, do you want to know the number one thing that was bought with this at the same time? It's got to be a mining rack. No, yes again. Uh, Waifu pillow. Oh, uh, fire extinguisher. <laughs> this hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I have to wear it for the rest of the video then, right? Obviously. Yeah. Wow, it's definitely got ample cooling on this bad boy. You've got dual 80 millimeter fans in the front, dual 140 millimeter fans on the top, and actually what looks like a pretty decent amount of heat sink in here. It's almost like the platform was designed for a considerable amount of power, but then they just didn't put a lot of it in here. Yeah, do you Wait, want to open her up? It is two power supplies. I thought the PCB went all the way across. What the <laughs> f I always get concerned when companies make up their own certifications. 90 plus platinum? Not a thing, and if it was, it would probably be platinum colored, not gold, which makes me wonder how much of anything else on here is actually real. It supports 180 to 200 volt AC input, uh, which makes sense. There's no way you'd be, I mean, you'd blow the circuit before you manage to pull 3000 watts out of a 120 volt circuit. Is it time to open it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Where's my LTT store screwdriver? If you're not already, make sure you sign up for the wait list because one day this fine man will deliver a finished screwdriver. Oh, are you opening up a real power supply? Yeah, so this it. is a 1600i. You would kind of want two of these to get over 3000 watts. Yeah. Kyle's our lead creator warehouse engineer and he apparently spent the last few weekends learning about power supplies after being put on the spot last time we opened up a sketchy power supply. So hopefully he's able to provide us a little bit more insight this time around. We'll see how good his studying skills are. So Kyle, you've already opened this, right? Uh, yes, uh, be careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the part of the video where we say, don't do this. We do not recommend opening up any kind of AC to DC power supply. There are capacitors in here that will store enough power to throw you back across the room. Maybe not quite that much. CRT TVs, yes. These yeah. maybe not quite so much, but you could die. What it looks like to me is we have a single power input that has been simply pigtailed out to two discrete power supplies. But what I think has happened here is the second power supply only contains the bare minimum required to produce 12 volt, whereas the primary one has all of the other rails that would be required to run a PC. So your 3.3 volt, your five volt, uh, and that's what all of this componentry that's missing in here is doing over here. What I have no means to evaluate is whether this is a quality 12 volt power supply now or a pretty junk one. I would hazard a guess that at $150 each, they're not really anything special. Kyle, tell me more. I would like you to draw your attention to the power switch that's on there and tell me how you think that works. Good God. <laughs> okay. What, what does the green on a 24 pin mean? Well, the green on a 24 pin is your power on. Wait, it just goes straight to the power switch. That's not normal. <laughs> yeah. 
What do you think's on the other side of the switch? If you were to take a guess, what would be on the other side of the switch? Well, a switch is normally in a closed position to allow current to flow. Yes. And in an open position does not allow so current to flow. What would you expect to go to one side of the switch? A ground. And then on the other side, you'd go the, li the other live leg to the board, right? Wait, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> you got it now. This switch doesn't actually turn off the, po yeah, the power yeah, supply. You got it. This switch turns on the power. That is not how you are supposed to do that. Just to validate that, let's have a look at our AX1600. This should kind of be all you need to know though, because this is what a quality 1600 watt power supply looks like next to a random banggood.com 3400 watt power supply. Look at the size of this primary side cap. Holy bananas. We've got our live, we've got our neutral. Uh, we've got what seems to be a fuse. Okay, so that's basically what you call an X-class capacitor. It mm -hmm. goes across live and neutral, live and common. Mm -hmm. um, and then right next to it are two Y-class capacitors that go from your line to chassis or earth ground. It's for EMI, and without going too turbo nerd into it, EMI is bad and those help in some way. They transform a very ugly voltage into a nice cleanish sine wave, depending on how many you have and how good quality they are. Oh, we're missing, uh, we're missing one of these boys who was supposed to be on the board here. Well, and he just missed the other thing that's missing. <laughs> oh wait, what is what's supposed to be here? Wait, is this just bridged? Yeah. What's supposed to be there? Something called a common mode choke. Wait, they just, they just soldered wires across it. Yes, and that's not a common mode choke, I can guarantee that. From there, we go into a standard uh, full bridge rectifier. Shout out to uh, Electro Boom. Then we go into just a regular smoothing capacitor. And then this is pretty interesting. It, it's an NTC, but it doesn't do anything with temperature. It's actually a inrush current limiter. So it's when you plug this in, you don't trip your breaker by charging these caps. This, uh, along with a power MOSFET, a diode, and some control circuitry that exists is your active power factor correction. Okay. So it, it has it. Whether it works uh, remains to be seen. We can't do anything right now until we take this board and resolder this resistor over here. Wait, what, why? Because it's not connected. Oh my God, it's not soldered. Yeah. Well, how many other things are not soldered? Uh, I, I do not know. That's the only one I saw. Oh my word. The, um... yeah. Okay, so we'll be careful. So the ground wire of the low side here is connected to this board as well. Mm -hmm. And there's a very sketchy heat pad on the bottom that I took off to see what it was and now it won't go back on. Can you poke it, it's, can it's, you poke it, it a little for it's, me? It's, it's, no, it, no, well, you won't be able to find it because it's got solder in it. You have it to doesn't like, have solder in it though, it does, does it? It does, it's just it doesn't have the lead in it. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I don't think either of them are through the board. No, I thought the other one was. Nope, it's just... Well, it, it, through, it's, through the board doesn't matter. As long as it's making connection to the angular ring, that's good enough. Yeah, okay, no, well, there's, there's loose and there's like loose with three L's. They're both okay. loose, loose. Okay. Look. Neither of oh, them are attached at all. You broke it, man. I didn't break it anything. Wasn't broken. I broke nothing. It was broken. Yeah. Well, don't. <sighs> I think we should teamwork this. It's really easy to find which holes we're targeting because they are this one and this one where there are no legs coming through compared to this one and this one, which are the other sides, and you can clearly see the legs coming through the bottom. Okay. Uh, this one. This one and first. This one. Shall we do this one so first? These two. Yeah, we can do the top one yeah. first. One sec. Are you pushing it in the hole? I'm How, how's your aim? Okay. I know it. I'm okay, but you know I'm wrong. Oh, freak. I don't know if I trust my hand so close to Linus and the soldering iron. I'm fine. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see it. Yes. I see yes. It. You got it's it. coming. Yes. Okay, it's crowning. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, no, the resistor's the wrong way around. Shut up, it is not. <laughs> In order to know how much the power supply is drawing, normally you'd use something like this. Unfortunately, those only work for 110 volts. So I bought this thing right here. Wait, you just put the cable through here and then you get a readout? Sort of, yeah. But wait, how do you get this around the cable? Well, that's the sketchy thing that we have to do. Oh my God, you're just gonna <laughs> cut it. Yeah. Now viewers, I'm sorry that this is what we're doing, but there is a good reason. We're buying cheap crap like this because we bought a very expensive tester that's gonna be arriving soon, but not super soon because shortages. So we don't wanna blow a bunch of money on something that we're just gonna replace like immediately. Yeah, when's that arriving, Kyle? In the middle of the seventh month of the year. Somebody sent me the date and it was like 07 and I didn't convert it to names. <laughs> Two months. Just, just engineer things. Two months. I don't know if we should even show people this, but this is what we did. For the record, don't do this. <laughs> 
Yeah, really though. A lot of the time we say don't do this. This is like for realsies, do not do this. This is 240 volt. Then well, we spliced in these leads, but wh which ones do they go in? Uh, these two. These two boys here? Yeah. Okay. No, what are you doing? What? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna plug this guy in, just FYI. Uh, you, ha you don't have the, the power cable that Linus is working on plugged in, right? No. And if he did have it plugged in, I would be totally safe. See that? Everything insulated. We grabbed an older X299 platform for this and Asus figured this was a cool way to do M.2s back then. Yeah, I'm not saying that someone accidentally knocked it over and had to put it back in with pliers today, but uh, don't, don't hit it again, please. What's broken, the board or the drive? Nothing, I put it back in with pliers. Okay. Here's your GPU power connectors. <gasps> oh no, okay. This is scary. Should we just test it like this, you know, nothing plugged in, just make sure. Oh yeah, we should all probably thing works. Yeah, let, too. Let, let's take a yeah. sketchy power supply, turn it on with no load. 209 volts, so we're like right smack on the 208 volts we're supposed to have in here. You might say this don't, puppy. Don't touch it. Don't you might touch say it. this puppy has a lot of energy. Yeah. Guys, don't touch it. Good luck, everybody. I think the system's gonna, oh, interesting. It didn't fire up. What? What? Okay, maybe just leave it in the on position? Yeah, it's in the on position. Okay, well, let's go ahead and bridge it. Wait. Wait, what the f I pressed the power button. Oh, oh. <laughs> those 80 mils, those are goers. I wonder how much they're fighting with these 140s for moving airflow around in here. It works. Of course it does. Oh, well, yeah. Well, what do you mean of course it does? We had to solder a resistor back into it. Now how much power can it provide? 7.2 watts, yes, does seem to be working. All Yay. right, let's power this boy up. You ready? I can't, I don't know where the switch is. Here we go. Man, that's annoying and loud. I am surprised that at idle it is doing like 200 watts. It's a lot. Why well, yes, Kyle, we do still have the Camino system. I'm assuming you agree that we should try to power it with this instead of the three 1000 watt power supplies that are in it no. now. <laughs> I had logistics take it out of here and hide it. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I told you I wanted to try it. I know, so and I had logistics take it and hide it. I don't know where it is. You <laughs> dick. For sampling, I'm thinking render samples 10,000. Okay, let's hit it. Hey, uh, that's, that's more bad. like yeah. 400 watts. Okay. Yeah, maybe you just don't hold that. You have one piece of electrical tape between you and 208 volts. Something rattling in there. Let's add some more GPUs. Yeah, only 3,000 more to go. Let's get this power supply completely unplugged. Notice how the system is power, oh wait, is it not powered down? What is it doing? Is it Windows updating? Where's the graphics cards physically going? I like, don't know. Over the tape, oh my. You're just putting them everywhere? Well, they have to be within the reach of this, which is not that far, because they cheaped out on the copper. <laughs> okay, so our primary goes here then? Sure. Yeah, that's a good spot. Uh... uh, do you have some zip ties? Alex wants to file down the backs of these slots here so that we can fit a 16X card in a 1X slot. Got a handful of these, basically. You just power up this little board. There's your 16X slot. This USB cable just plugs into a little PCIe 1X. I don't think these things will do more than Gen 2 speeds, but that doesn't matter for what we're doing. Why doesn't one of us do data and the other one do power here? I'll unbox, Kyle, you can I'll stand there and look, uh, you can stand there and look imposing. I'm so sorry, everyone that sent these to us. Like, I'm sure MSI thought that this would be in like, you know, the ultimate gaming PC instead of this. This is all of our 3080s Some kind in of the office. Build. If yeah. the power supply blew these up, we would have no more 3080s left. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? This power supply has a freaking lot of eight pin PCIe connectors on it. So credit for that. I know I have said this a lot lately, but I think this is the worst thing we've ever done. <laughs> That's the pattern, it's this Alex character. Well, it's, you know, you have to have variety. A lot of people in the, what was it called? Desk made of radiators, they were like, I miss how janky your videos Look, used Michael to be. Look, Michael Big, you don't have to one up your last feature every single time. It's time, yep. Shall we bet lunch on how much the power's gonna be? Closest without going over? Oh. <laughs> the click <laughs> of the... <laughs> Did, oh, uh, unplug. On the fans, Jeff. Unplug. Yeah, What's up? Uh, we did not do 8-pin power for this one. Ah! 
On a scale of one to ten, how much of a fire hazard is that? Uh, it's, oh, uh, it's, it's, it's not fun. a it's fire fun. hazard. That, the, oh, this is a fire hazard. That, that, yeah. Yeah, this is bad. Actually, this is really bad, too. Uh, okay, I'd say it's a solid yeah, six yeah, out of yeah, ten fire hazard. <laughs> okay, we're done. Yeah, okay, okay. About fire. power it up, let's go. Woo! Ah! There we go. Now all the fans are spinning. This is a thing. Motherboards flipping out about having too many PCIe devices and not being able to boot up. Oh, where's the Camino? No! no. <laughs> what about we unplug the two that are in the one slots and see what happens? Sure, and then we'll go get the Camino. I don't know where the Camino is. Yes, you do. <laughs> Mutiny! What? <laughs> I asked for the render server to be brought out here and instead I get this. Yeah, it's every 3080 we'll have, plus one. What do you mean plus one? Well, we have seven now. Oh. I found another one. Go. Hit it! Oh. Okay, what 550 we... watts. At idle? It occurs to me, we need to redo our guesses. We've got an additional card. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go, we're going into Windows. Oh. 918. 900 watts just to fire up the desktop? What? I mean, this is clearly a high octane desktop here. Holy crap. Wait, this is a Threadripper Pro board? Yes. Okay, hold on a second. Now I was willing to risk a bunch of RTX 3080s, but do you have any idea how hard it is to get your hands on Threadrippers these days? Yes. Also, what is this board worth? This has got to be like a thousand dollar motherboard. A fourteen hundred dollars. Fourteen hundred dollars. I think the motherboard is the least of your problems. GPU zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. They're all in here. Holy crap. This is an aux power connector. There's two more aux power connectors, and then there's dual eight pins for the CPU. This thing is ridiculous. We have a total of 23 eight pin PCIe's running to stuff. Uh, what could go wrong, Kyle? In theory, it's isolated, so nothing should go wrong if the power supply dies. But if, you, if the isolation's garbage, high voltage goes through and then, yeah. Do the 400 volt caps just dump into this, or? Potentially. To be clear, this can happen. What he's talking about is not purely hypothetical. This is the point where it maybe goes pop, pop. The fans are starting to spin. Oh, whoa, there we go. Woo! We got anywhere from 230 to 300 watts per GPU. I was way under, I think. What did I say? Damn, I need, oh, 24, 19. No, I 24, need. 24, 22, 24, 20, 40, I need 24, 50. I think I went too high. Yes, yes, my boys. I said 2501. I wanted us to. I wanted us to break. Okay, wait. Can we appreciate how much heat is coming off this thing? Can we appreciate that it's still running? 2520. Yes, I win! Oh, no! <laughs> yeah! Thank you, Kyle. Damn it! So does it work? Uh... I mean, we haven't made it to 3450 necessarily, but we sure as heck got to 2500. We also don't know exactly uh, what the efficiency of this is. So 2,500 from the wall, sure, according to this thing. But it's clear that we need some more sophisticated equipment in order to really put this thing through its paces. Now tell me, can our power supply tester do this kind of load? Yes. Really? So we got the good one. I got 3,500. So like 50 wow. watts more than what this can do is our limit. Okay, we're throwing in the Threadripper Pro. We also might just need more RAM. To like How really much do you have in there? 64? 32. 32. We're not saying this thing is good or safe. No. We're just saying that it didn't blow up. We will tell you in two months. Yeah. Yeah, maybe three. Yeah. And what we'll tell you now is about our sponsor. KiwiCo. KiwiCo is a monthly subscription service to help introduce and make STEM topics fun and engaging for kids of all ages, even kids at heart. They believe that if you start learning small things today, you can produce world-changing ideas tomorrow. Each crate is designed by experts and contains everything that you need to complete it with detailed, kid-friendly instructions. That means you don't have to run off to the store to get extra supplies like glue or scissors. KiwiCo offers nine subscription lines, each catering to different age groups and topics. And the crate that we've got here is at tinker level for your tweens and teens aged 9 to 16, which explores engineering and design with a robot crab. The second crate is a Eureka level crate for kids aged 14 and older that teaches about electrical circuits by having them make an electric pencil sharpener. Hey, I'm 14 and older. 
<laughs> KiwiCo now ships to over 40 different countries and is a great way to keep kids occupied for hours. And with KiwiCo, you're not just teaching your kids to buy, you're teaching them to build. So go to kiwico.com slash LTT to get 50% off your first month of any crate. If you guys enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy Desk Made of Radiators. It has a similar effect where you can warm your hands on your computer. <laughs> it's way nicer though. It worked really well. Yeah.